Half of a fag. All his movies and bullshit. <laughs> Hey, Matt. Why are we sitting in these chairs? What do you mean, James? I mean, there's a couch right there. Well, it's covered in empty bottles of Odules, non-alcoholic beer. This is utterly tasteless. Speaking of tasteless, have you seen that new movie by Red Letter Media? Feeding Frenzy? I have seen that film, Matt. Isn't it weird that we've both seen the same unheard of amateur film? It is weird. Just like the movie. Feeding Frenzy is a new film from Red Letter Media. It was released in 2010 and stars Rich Evans, Mike Staclaza, Jay Bauman, and the rest of the Red Letter Media gang. Everyone you never wanted to see in a film and more. So, Matt, what did you think of Red Letter Media's Feeding Frenzy, a tongue-in-cheek homage to the classic creature horror films of the 1980s. I think it's the worst hardcore porno I've ever seen with a tongue-in-cheek title card. It had funny parts to it. There were, there were moments here or there which were funny. Mo mostly because I thought they were going to do one joke. Yeah, yeah. But then they ended up doing a different one. And it was like, what the fuck? So, Matt, Feeding Frenzy. What would you rate this film out of ten? Two thumbs down, absolutely. I would rate it negative three stars out of ten. Wow, that's generous. It was... It, it, I, Really, it's not even worth the entertainment of watching it. It's just, it's just bad. And for film critics who try to make their own movies, they just end up not working at all. It was really pretty terrible. It really was. And even the jokes that were funny, they ruined them. Because they kept telling them over and over again. Yes. You see, whenever there was a joke told that required any sort of thought, such as when they were in the convenience store and he said, looks like you'll need some cock. Yeah. And she was like, what are you doing Saturday night? And he was like, no, no, you misunderstand me entirely. I mean cock, a waterproof solution for fixing cracks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Because, as you know, you must always explain the joke to your audience so to make sure they understand and can laugh at it. I didn't read up anything about this movie before we watched it, but it seemed like there were some issues in post-production. Did you get the same idea? I did get the same idea, Matt. So, Feeding Frenzy. <laughs> I like the part where... They were in the basement, and there was the box, and it had those creatures in it that were, like, eating people's flesh. Oh, yeah, the testicles. Yeah, 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 the, the, the man-eating testicles. I think they were ovaries, actually. Yeah, they did look like ovaries. They were ovaries. Like nasty sperm. Yeah, I mean, I mean the, whole, the whole film was a great treatise on the inadequacy of the female sex. Yeah, I did get that impression. It was, that was, it was, it was a good, uh, a good essay on why women are stupid and helpless. And men are assholes. You know, she was like sitting there and just completely wishy-washy. Yeah, she couldn't make up her mind, you know, it's just like in everyday life. And then, and then when they resurrected Mrs. Plinkett, and she came out, oh, yeah, and, she, and right. she was like, She's nagging. So, basically a very accurate portrait of females in America. Buying things with her credit card, buying to things her divorce lawyer. Buying things she doesn't need. Oh yeah, they made that, that was, very clear. Mm -hmm. um, she couldn't save herself from anything. She couldn't decide what tool to kill him, to kill the ovary with. Even the retard got a kill. 
You know, he killed the yeah, thing, the thing with the that drill. The, yeah, he killed the yeah. ovary that was eating his leg when she was supposed to have killed the ovary. Yeah. He killed he killed Mrs. Plinkett too. Don't you think, Matt? Couldn't agree more, James. Our main character, whose name I completely forgot after they Jesse. said it. it yeah, it yeah, was, Jesse. It was Jesse. Jesse. He was an asshole, and completely incompetent. And they kept saying he was retarded, which I think he was. I, I actually kind of liked a protagonist that was pretty useless. I think that worked for the parody I think this film was trying to be. Um, it did say right on the box, or... In the blurb online, mm. that it was a tongue-in-cheek homage yeah. to the creature horror films of the 80s. So, like the rest of the jokes in the movie, they made sure to explain to the audience right off the bat that it was a joke, and explain the joke. Well, when I think they say tongue-in-cheek, I think they mean hardcore porno. Because that's at least what it seemed like when we first started watching it. I wish it had turned out to be a porno, actually. Mm. Um, the movie, the, what, the scene with the pillow fight, with the, the girls, was, that was, was humorous. Mm -hmm. That was, that was maybe the one time I, I laughed at the film, and was actually laughing at what they wanted me to. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it was made even better when they were cleaning up the, the feathers afterwards. It, yeah, the fact that it cut right to them cleaning up the feathers afterwards. So... The way that I perceived it, they were all played by that asshole, Mike Staclaza. Basically, every character was Mike Staclaza, playing Mike Staclaza. Even the girls were Mike Staclaza. Mike Staclaza does it again with a film that he co-directed with Jay Bauman, playing multiple roles, including a uh, Russian with a face wrap, oh, a wow. guy Is named Carl. Was he Russian? His wife was Russian. I think he may have been Russian, too. I don't I thought know. she was Romanian. Maybe she was Romanian. I don't think she was Romanian. I've been to Romania. You've been to Romania? Yes, I have been to Romania. This is the first I'm hearing of this? So, Feeding Frenzy was, um, it was pretty bad. I mean, other than, other than the parts I just mentioned, I, I, I liked the part when, when they resurrected Mrs. Plinkett. I liked it when it was over. It was an hour and a half, but it felt like four fucking hours. It almost felt twice its length. I would say. I'm almost out of O'Doul's non-alcoholic beer. Let's get more. I don't, I don't think we have any more. What? <sighs> so feeding frenzy. The effects were pretty good. It was a... Uh, yes. The effects were decent. There was some good fake blood. It was towards the end of the film. I was... furious with myself for having done this, having sat down to watch it. Yeah, it cost seven dollars. I can't believe I spent seven dollars on that. Oh, duels isn't even seven dollars. No, I... No, it's not. You know, they, uh, there is no, uh... I think they brew it in Portland, Maine. Do they? I think so. I'm not certain. I've seen the Abigo Duel sign working in my job as a parking lot attendant. Oh, are you still there? I'm not still there. As a matter of fact, I just tendered my resignation. That's good. After being promoted to night manager. Yeah. I was offered $14 an hour to work an extra week, but um, I decided I'd rather just have the week off before my life commenced any further. Yeah, speaking um, of core, poor career choices, you know, uh, I really, I connected with our main character over his complete disdain for his work. 
He was an asshole to everybody, and I like that. They kept bringing this up in, as a big secret, as if there was, like, some kind of actual important secret. Well, he was a virgin. The Jesse character. Yeah. Which, which, is, no, which is no crime. It's no crime to be a virgin. Um, but it was an important secret. Yeah. To Mr. Plinkett, apparently. And to Jesse. Yeah, and to so Jesse. So I guess that makes it an important secret. What, there was one line, which... I still don't understand that Mr. Plinkett said to Jesse, which is, with one phone call, the entire town will know. Do they have like a speaker system? Uh, maybe in the, the joke town? was that there's nobody. Maybe the joke was nobody lives in this town because it's a small town. Yeah, I. I there were there was a lot of stuff that, my head. that there was a lot of stuff that didn't make sense in this movie, mm. like, like the fact that there are all these hookers in this little town. I mean, I don't know what Wisconsin's like. I've never, oh, yeah, yeah. I've never been there. I think they were in Milwaukee. It was filmed in Milwaukee. It was filmed in Milwaukee. Well, I assume... It probably took place in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, outside the Plaza Hotel. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, just before No Brand Con 2011. I did like when Jay fell down in the kitchen. And oh, the, yeah. The silverware went everywhere. Yeah, that was good physical humor. A lot of the actors had good physical you humor. Said, I remember you saying that was a good take. Yeah, that was... Yeah. I think that was the first take. I'm gonna yeah. assume that was the first take. I, I probably wasn't, but... You never know. I like to think it was the first take. Like, it was spontaneous, which it clearly wasn't. It might have been, Matt. It oh, also, been. there was one really good shot with um, Jay Bauman's face in the pea soup. You know, he'd had a heart attack. That was yeah. probably the best shot of the movie. Oh, that was that was the part where I was thinking like he was gonna come in, and we knew he had a heart problem. Right. Yeah. And Jesse was gonna be like, "Oh my god!" And he was gonna be like, "What? Oh, I fell asleep." Yeah. And that would have been funny, but no, he'd actually had a heart attack, so he had to. I guess they had to establish that there was a defibrillator, so we could use it at the end to kill Mrs. Plinkett. Yeah, but we could have. Even had though that he dialogue. He he even explained right at the very end like yeah. where the defibrillator came from. So, Matt, hmm. you would say Feeding Frenzy is the worst film you've seen this year? You know, maybe it wasn't the worst film that I saw, but it was the hardest to watch. It was hard to that get through. The hard, that was the worst thing, is that it felt so long. So long. Yeah. Oh, remember when they were in the basement with the box? And there were the vaginas in it trying to get out. Yes. And so they were like, "What's in the box?" Oh. <laughs> and it was it was because it was it was alluding to seven to that make was to make you joke. to make you well it was alluding to seven so that you'd you'd think of a good movie while yeah, you yeah, were yeah, while you were watching, while you were yeah. watching this one. Just like the opening made me think of a porno while I was watching this movie. Yes, the opening made you think of a better film than you were watching. So that yeah. was that was clever of them. I'll give them some props for putting that in. Yeah. Give them credit for a few good jokes they had, but for the most part, Feeding Frenzy was a colossal failure. Colossal. Colossal failure. So James. Yes. How was Avatar: The Last Airbender trivia night? Uh, well, my team won. Really? Yes. Uh, we won this. Avatar The Last Airbender PlayStation 2 video game from uh, EA Games in 2007. Well, isn't that your favorite Avatar The Last Airbender adaptation, except for the M. Night Shyamalan film? Yeah!